One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com, and what I got here for you today is a beautiful 1986 Mercedes Benz 560 SEL. I really like these W126 cars, and this one here is a One Owner Car. There goes my shadow right through it. I got a new camera, and so I'm going to try to see how this one works for bounce while I'm walking and all that stuff, and strap flapping around in the wind, so I hope you like it. It's a nice car. It's clean in and out. I'm going to do this kind of a once around, show you the once around, then I'll go up close and show you any minor dings, flaws, issues like that. We'll go underneath, look at all that. Make sure and like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Add me on G+. I'll pop some links up in here that you can click on and kind of jump around and check it all out. Um, this, like I say, is a new camera, and I hope it does a good job. I've gotten used to my other one. This one's bulky and weird, and I don't know if I like it or not yet. But we shall see. OneOwnerCarGuy.com, and you can call me anytime, 406-544-6919. Name's Nathan. And I'm going to show you underneath first, just to start off. And then we'll go on with the outside and any damage or anything. Low-level light adjustment's good on this camera. It's clean underneath. It's in great shape. Ding in the oil pan there is the worst thing to say. This piece is cracked. And it's going to need to be plasti welded there. Um, it's all here, but as you can see, it got smacked a little bit and broken. So, it's the worst thing to say on that. Okay. That's it. Down the side we go. Let's take a look. Nice condition. Not all dinged and dented up. Just a couple little dings here. And a few in that back door. A little scuff or something right there. The ding. Look at these golf clubs hit the inside of the trunk almost with this little deal there. Bumpers are faded like they get. California car, I'm just, that's my Montana dealer plate. I take these all back to Montana. We never got this kind of stuff up there, many of them. A little scuff there, and a little scuff here. So he scuffed something, I guess, is my point. And that's about it. Everything going on the sides is beautiful. A little clear coat thing happening on right there. And that is that on this side. little scratch in the paint or something right there. And on the hood, you can see the clear coat fade. A couple spots and everything there. And like I say, I'm having to really, really get used to this camera. Hope it does the trick. Same thing on the roof. Clear coat. But, straight as can be. Same thing on the trunk. Them top surfaces took it kind of hard on the fading. 560, baby. Top dog. Okay, that's anything that I know of wrong with these sides. Wheels are in great shape. And as you can see, that's starting to happen. Now I can get these reconditioned and they look great. I showed you that part in the bumper. And it's got these Michelin energies on it. They're old. Um, they need to be replaced. Just kind of got some age on them. Um, and that's all there is to it. I think he might have replaced them in a staggering thing. But they got dry rot in them and they're not what a guy needs. Little titties on the side on this one. He sure didn't use it much. Probably was a spare, come to think of it. Okay, let's look at the bumpers in the front where you can see that they are also faded in here. Like they all get. Um, lenses. This lens is broken right here. The guy's gonna have to buy that piece for it. They're cheap on eBay, that's the neat thing on this. All the parts are relatively cheap on eBay. Um, and we'll see on this camera, it's a little different for me. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Wheel wells are beautifully clean. And it's got a nice look. 
little scuff right here. Light, light, light. And there's a ding right here. Couple so small scratches in here, especially around the keyhole. A little bit of fading right there, but it's mostly contained on the top surfaces. I think there's a little bit of a wrinkle in this piece. We'll get a look at the other side. Yeah, I think there is. Just feel there is. Yeah. Not bad, not really noticeable. You can tell the stress marks right there. Not really noticeable, but you probably change that gap a little bit right there. Okay, that's all I can say. Except for that's a little bit faded right across there. I'm going on the sides, clean as can be. I'm sure I missed a ding somewhere, but that's pretty much, for the most part, what it is. Bulky camera, like I say. A lot bulkier. Underneath, these floor pans are beautiful. This is why I take stuff back to Montana and ship it overseas from California. Always clean. Tranny pan clean. Super clean under here. Super clean. Okay. That is pretty much the exterior review of this car. I don't know what else I could say about it. One owner. My autofocus and everything on this camera might not be that fast. I can't really see what it's doing. But BeaglesPocket.com, check that out. Lots of miniature beagles on there. And I'm going to go ahead and just go for the test drive here on this one. And check it all out. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Can reach me anytime. Okay. So overall, good runner. Oh, come on now. You think I want to... See, it's starting to make me think. 171950 that it might be kind of fady when I try and do this video. So, every once in a while starter acts up. Just like that. And you'll have to give it a turn or two to get it going. Now, this one's ultra powerful. A little bit of a alternator squeal on that sometimes. I have no clue why that light blinks. And the alternator, squ blah, blah, blah. alternator squeal goes away. And it's a nice driver. A um, little stiff, probably wore out on the back shocks or something. Um, I actually had a set, and I changed them. Jeez Louise. This thing will throw you back in the seat, man. I don't know if you felt that. Did you feel that? I mean, it just gets down and goes. Jeez, man. The car is ultra fast. And you'll definitely notice a bit of bounce from the shocks <laughs> in the camera and when you get your new car. Not unbearable or nothing, just something that I like to be upfront about. It's a Mercedes Benz and it should drive a certain way. That's speed limit, like just a, a click, man. Um, now I'm not too hard on it, I just want to be sure to give you the what to, how for. Now I turn the seat heater on and I'll tell you what, it works. Um, 86, 560, having heated seats and all this, it's definitely the top, top, top model that came. Um, ooh, little El Camino. Never had a problem driving it. Um, 
if you get on it really hard when you're on a hill, sometimes it'll seem like it's gonna skip or something. And I'll try and do it here. Like that. But then when you go, it just goes, man. And Sometimes I gotta let off just a little. We're gonna go up here. Okay, let's just floor it until we go. I'm just a little easy on that gear letting go, and I wanted to floor it to have it hit the rev limiter thing there a little bit to let you see what it did. Um, and that's what I don't like about the way it shifts. Although, this car hasn't been around in about a year. And I think a little Lucas in it and just really drive it and it'd be fine. Um, the bands do dry up a little bit. I actually, um, this one's gonna be cheap. I actually took a little uh, deposit on this one. The guy strung me along and strung me along and sent me another hundred bucks and next thing you know, man, I forget about the car and I think it's all paid off. And I go to one of my lots one day, and I see it, and I ask my secretary, what the heck? She says, well, it never got paid for in full. So we tried to get a hold of the guy, he didn't want it. Um, over a year later. I've got another video on here of before that. Um, ain't nothing changed on it. Um, actually, the clear coat parts I showed you there weren't like that before. I mean, it's all there when you feel it. It's just if you get to the top of your power band, you gotta let off the gas just a little bit. And I think it's just from sitting. Um, motor, tight as can be, steering. I just had the thing um, aligned and such. Had the caster camber and all that set. Um, he did a good job on that. Please let me know how this camera is working in comparison to some of the others. Besides the fact that we're bouncing around because of the shocks a little bit, this is a rough road. <laughs> you sure want to put your foot in it though, I'll tell you. This car is powerful. And it just throws you back in your seat. That's all there is to it. Man, I'll tell you, you get going a little bit too fast on a bumpy road and it's got some bounce to it. More bounce to bounce. Now, I'm very upfront with this stuff. If there's anything wrong with it, I've said it. Um, honestly, the kind of things I'm saying, a lot of people just wouldn't say, and you'd find out later. And that's not what I'm looking to do. I'm looking for you to know up front, because I sell overseas and everywhere you can imagine a lot. It'll break them loose however you want, man. I just wouldn't run it up to red line. Um, Maybe not for the first little while, at least. Well. What a car, man. I'm tempted just to drive some of these. Just drive the tires off of them. Well, this is the car. I'm gonna park it right here. Get out and tell you goodbye. Um, a little bit of lifter noise. Slide them out on the uh, motor. And it'll go away too. Just bam, gone. So, I don't know. Maybe a little adjustment if you got to it. Great car. And definitely give me a call anytime. Nathan, 406-544-6919. See, look at that. It just got fady all of a sudden. I don't like how it does that. Make some comments about the camera. I'd love to hear from you. And that's about that. W126. Yeah, buddy. About as nice as it gets. I like a 140. Look at this one sitting right behind it. It's for sale. I've got four or five W140s. I've only got a couple of these 126s right now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Check out my websites. Uh, BeaglesPocket.com. GreyCongo.com. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. That's it. I'm done. Port to port, any port in the world, let me know where it is and I'll send this thing out. A um, couple more little things I wanted to show you. 
couple of these pieces are kind of bent a little bit. I just seen that and remembered that out of the corner of my eye. And the back of that mirror has a couple cracks in it. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I've told you. Mirror's got a little bit of fade going on. Just ever so slightly. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. OneOwnerCarGuy. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Back with you, showing you the rest of this W126 One Owner 560 SEL. And I'm in a different light here. I'm going to kind of go down the sides and show you just how straight she is. There's a few little dings like I showed you before here. Now I'm showing you with a different camera too. And it's just a lot easier for me to get more of the trunk in there. A couple dings in the trunk there. I might not have touched them exactly. They're right there and there that I see them. A little bit of striping coming on the window. Not a lot. Showed you that clear coat. I'll show you in a different lighting. And I also seen a ding in the hood right there later. And that's pretty much what I know of on this car. It ain't just tip top. But it's straight and shiny and beautiful as can be. It's got that look. Beautiful car. And that's the deal. Okay, so this is all about the interior. And I'm going to do the interior review, show you all that. Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. Um, interior is in great shape in this car. I really enjoy a one and two owner car like this that somebody's paid to take care of and all that good stuff. Door panels are in great shape. I'm going to actually... Your yeah, key has to be on in this year. Hang on a sec. So you're gonna have to listen to me and stuff like that. Driver's seat does not switch in this one. So you got a bad switch or something. And I almost guarantee you it is the switch. Um, I don't know a lot about this. SS200 radar. Um, let me go ahead and show you windows while we're here. That one's not loving it. Switch or a regulator? Probably, or I mean, switch or a motor, because I don't hear no clicking. Um, danger sign. I don't know what that's for. The antenna button definitely does not work. I don't know what that is. I never have. I need to read a manual, huh? Speaking of such, I thought I had all the manuals on this. What kind of stuff disappears on me an awful lot. Mirror works fine. In and out. And the only thing is, is that switch, I think the clips in there are kind of broken. Um, and the up and down is not wanting to work on it. This one of course works fine. It's manual adjust. There I am. I don't come with the car. AC is pretty darn cold, but it's pretty darn cold outside. I'm just gonna disclose that is not working. Um, I thought there was a certain stand on your head and touch your toe and hit on while you're pushing automatic and it worked or something to that effect. I don't know. We'll just say it don't work, but how's that? And like, it's so weird, once you put it in gear, that alternator wind just goes away. After about 10 seconds. And if you want these, check the ad. I don't know if I'm gonna throw them in. They were expensive items and I had a guy wanting to buy them from me and I might just sell them to him. Heated seats in the rear. Very rare option. Plus the rear reclining. And there it goes out. 
or down, whatever you want to call it. God, it reclines a long ways too. Here it goes back up. Probably first time that's been done in a long time. A little tear there, as you can see, where it happens along these seams. Part of the medical kit is in here. They didn't get it on the right side, did they? The um, door panels are in great shape. Hang on a sec here. Sometimes these trunks are hard to get while you're holding the camera. It's a good shape. All the weather stripping is just as close to fresh as it gets. Um, the foam under here is in great shape. Something spilled on this carpet or something. It was w right in there. And it was wadded up over in the corner. So it's a little off. Um, the back of that fill out of its grooves there. As you can see, you've got the nice tire and all. Good spare, is what I'm trying to say. Third light! That could have been first year on this here car. I'm not 100% on that. I don't know 100% everything on these. The back seats don't even look like they've ever been set in. A little loose on this piece of wood right there. Stress marks right there, not ripped through. But kind of fold over. A couple starting right in here. The carpets are in great shape. This piece is lifted up on this side a little bit. A couple stress cracks starting. A couple stains on that little piece of carpet. Armrest works fine. A little crack in the dash there and right there as well. Oh, we're gonna go ahead. Open that up for you. Light not coming on on this side. There we go. They get, um, they're never opened up. It turns off and turns on just fine. The little button in there thing was just stuck. A little separation going on there like they get. Actually, these parts are in great shape there and are holding them up nicely. Got the middle one as well there. That's what I mean by a little lifter noise. Nothing too bad, but just a slight amount. Let me close this down. Speaking. I want to make sure you can hear me too. It's in great shape under the hood. Just beautiful. I'll get you close-ups of all this as well. And I'm just trying to show everything as thoroughly as I can. Look at the gaskets in there, man. Just clean as can be. And this piece is popped up off here. As you can see, it's not clipped back down in there correctly. It took a wow. Probably off this. It probably slid down to the side and took a wow. What's a wow? Well, I'll tell you. And you heard another click in there? It's this. Fan shroud. Um, this was taped off. This one was not. Um, phew, beautiful. Not a hundred percent perfect. And this here is just stuff that comes from that. You know, I hate to tear it off because it's in such great shape. It's very brittle along the edges. I was gonna just slice it and leave it, but I left it. It's all up to you. Do with it what you will. Okay, that's about all I can show you. My name's Nathan. It has been retrofitted to R134A. 
406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. That's your W126-560 SEL 1986 model. Getting hard to find these cars in this clean shape. Um, I've seen these with almost half a million miles on them. That's a lot! Um, also, wanted to show you from the outside and take a picture so I can put it in the ad. But yes, the sunroof works. So, and that's the thing when you get a, ooh, one of your orange ambers are out. When you get a car like this and somebody um, maintains it and takes care of things, a one owner car like this, somebody paid, you know, I don't know what, 60 grand, 70 grand for this car back in 1986? That's a lot of money. That's all there is to say about it. Um, well, that's your walk around, run around, show around. You've seen it all. Um, the other thing I was going to see that I didn't show you is this. I showed you the other seat. I did not show you this side. And I'm prouder of this side. It's quick too, huh? I think maybe just the back's working there. I'm pushing down on the front. You know what? These only go down in the back. They don't go down in the front in this year. That's right. Fast as can be. And... Are they manual in this year? Hang on. I don't know, I hear it clicking. If they weren't manual, that button's not working. Memory on passenger and driver. I hear that clicking too on this one, but it ain't reclining. So, it's in a nice position to where you're sitting nice. I'll tell you that much. One owner car guy, one owner car guy.com, beaglespocket.com for all your miniature pocket beagles, graycongo.com for the coolest gray congo Amazon parrot in the world. Import, export, I will ship this car to any port in the world. Just let me know. I think that's all I'm going to show you on it that there is to show. Nathan, 406 544 6919. You can reach me anytime. And yes, I've, I've done my job here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are, and oneownercarguy.com.